Tone area. The presence of a video that went viral on the internet has now forced those accused of trying to grab the land and fence it off to come out in the public and set the record straight. As Nina Shaban reports, the Directorate of Criminal Investigations has come out to defend the family accused of attempting to grab the parcel of land. You're chilling in your home. Some random guys come arrest your parents. And then they take over your land and they fence it. It started with this video that went viral across all social media platforms. Church, it is called the forcible detainer. Contract to section. At around 11 a.m. on Saturday, Anita Bati and Baldev Singh Bati were taken into custody for alleged land grabbing in Lovington, Nairobi County. We got a phone call uh, from my sister who was inside the house that there's armed men outside the house. Uh, so we all rushed home, you know, worrying what's what's going on to find out that when we arrived home, uh, the DCI uh, forcefully removed my dad from his vehicle, put him in handcuffs. According to Bashir Abdi Rahman, who is an agent and also claims to hold the power of Atani, the half of an acre land belongs to Munir Ahmed and the late Malkit Singh, who hold a certificate of title dated the 1st of December 1971. Early this year to bring you guys to what is uh, in hand and the current situation is that early this year Munir and the late's wife visited uh, uh, Nairobi and actually they needed to develop the property and to look into it. Once they came to their gate they could not access the gate. The gate was actually locked from inside and uh, they were unable to actually access their property. When we went there to the other gate to knock to our neighbors they refused to open. When they opened they said they don't know us. They don't know Munir. The same document holds the date of sell of the half of an acre land to the Bati family on the 25th of August 1988. The tussle that began on the 28th of February 2023 between the two families involved visits to the police and the Directorate of Criminal Investigations. After actually reporting, we were directed to the DCI anti-fraud, land fraud, which is at the Kiambu headquarters. We went there, Munir gave the statement. The late's widow gave the statement, I gave the statement, the, the land registrar gave the statement. Everything was validated and it was confirmed that the land belongs to Munir. A letter released by the DCI confirms that the suspect in matter, being the Bati family, has not provided the investigators with any ownership documents relating to the land dispute. Mr. and Mrs. Bati were released from police custody after paying a cash bill worth 50,000 shillings each. The two are expected in court on Monday. Nina Shaban, NTV. All right, and that report by Nina Shaban takes us to our first break here on NTV Weekend Edition. We still have a lot we've lined up for you on this broadcast. Stay with us. The hashtag is NTV Weekend Edition.